We're starting off with an absolute banger from our boy Rond. That's R-O-N-D. Rond says this. No taste, no spice, just sugar. Dry, waxy rice wouldn't accept soy sauce. It just puddled up. Way too much sugar. Just sugar and salt. Sugar, sugar, sugar and salt. And more sugar and salt. So gross. I personally hate this place. I gave them three attempts because I love Asian cuisine, but these guys suck hard. It's so gross. Everyone that works there should cut their thumbs off and beg for forgiveness. By the way, instant diarrhea. There's a lot to say about this review. Sugar and spice, sugar, sugar, sugar and spice. Sounds like a rap verse, and I like it. If you made that song, I would listen to it. I would be your first stream on Spotify. But you know what they say, Rond? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine, in this case, panda, go down. And if you think about it, Rond, suck hard is an insult to a restaurant, but it's a high compliment to a vacuum cleaner. You could take this same review and apply it to the Dyson Animal V6, and it would be a five-star review. Think about that, Rond. I also love that Rond is like, everybody here has done me such injustice that they need to cut off their thumbs and ask for forgiveness. No, they need to beg for forgiveness. And you might think from Ron's review that this Panda Express exists in Iran, where Sharia law rules the day. But no, this Panda Express is located in Louisiana. So Ron, uh, you can't just go around cutting people's thumbs off because they served you food you didn't like. If that was the case, and everybody in your life who cooked you food that you didn't like had to cut their thumbs off and beg for forgiveness, a lot of people in my life would have to cut their thumbs off and beg for forgiveness. And you know who has two thumbs and would have to cut both of them off because of this? This guy. I cook a lot of bad food for myself. Also, I think, Rond, if you really had, as you say, instant diarrhea, and I mean instant, like immediately, you exploded in a diuretic rage. If you immediately exploded with diarrhea, I don't know that you can be mad at this establishment because it should take quite a bit longer for that to hit. But if they have somehow invented a food that as soon as it touches your mouth, you explode out the other end with instant diarrhea, that is not something to be upset about. I think that's something to be impressed by. We could use this against our enemies in war. Have you thought about this? United States, are you listening to me? Joe Biden, are you listening to this? Probably not. You're probably asleep. Listen up, Commander in Chief. We could use this in war. If we have found a fast food item that as soon as it touches somebody's lips, they have instant diarrhea, you could incapacitate entire armies, nay, entire civilizations with this food. This is not something to be upset about. This is something to be studied. Science needs to visit this Panda Express location in Louisiana. Okay, next up, Luis. Luis says this. It was good till the homeless guy came inside to eat food out the trash. And I just want you to imagine for just a second that this ruins your restaurant experience. You go to a restaurant, you are able to pay for food. You're gonna get three entrees and a side at Panda Express. It's like 12 bucks. You're like, no problem. I am loaded out of my mind. I will eat thousands of calories whenever I want. And a homeless guy walks in starving, so hungry that he is willing to walk into a public place in view of everybody, go to a trash can and start digging through it, looking for food that is partially eaten just so he can meet a caloric intake to continue to survive for another day. And you look at him and you go, this has ruined my restaurant experience. I'm not saying it's something pleasant. What I am saying, Luis, is you know what would help the guy and maybe not ruin your restaurant experience? Uh, you wouldn't have to watch him eat food out of the trash if you took $5 and bought him like a, a side of chow mein. I mean, just buy the guy like the most caloric thing you can for like $3 and he's got a thousand calories for $3. That would one, fix the problem of you being inconvenienced by seeing somebody starving and eating out of the trash, and two, feed him something that is not coming from the trash. But no, instead you went online, 
and you complained about a literal starving guy. Thanks, Luis. Next up, Sonny gives us an incredible review, and it's incredible because this phrase exists in the English language that I don't think we've really thought through what it means. The food is edible, but definitely not worth writing home about. China Bowl doesn't have to worry about any competition. And what I want you to think about for just a second is what does it mean to write home about something? This is a phrase that is used a lot in the English language, and I don't think we've really thought through what it means to write home about something. So let me just show you how I imagine this. Dear mother, dear father, dear little brother Billy Bob, I write home to you from the front lines of our conflict with the German army. We have lost much ground and many men to the trenches. In all this darkness, there is one thing here that provides a sliver of hope. It's a restaurant near our trench called Panda Express. They have this entree called orange chicken that has fundamentally changed my philosophy on food. Sweet and savory, all at the same time, it's a dish that breaks all the rules. And yet I must confess to you, mother and father, and even to you, dear little brother Billy Bob, that I am concerned at the rate at which I and my fellow soldiers have been eating at Panda Express. You see, oftentimes on my watch, I will be able to think of nothing except orange chicken, I've let three Germans slip by on my watch because of this. Additionally, I must confess that I have abandoned my post four times in order to go eat more of this orange chicken. I believe this is a food that might be worth losing the war for. It's scary to admit, but I believe this food lets me glimpse another world, a higher power, a new universe of flavor. I am concerned that this Panda Express is actually an invention and a plant of the Germans, placed near our trench to distract us from the war. I believe that they put it here because they knew the effect it would have on us. And yet, I don't care. I would rather lose the war than lose my access to orange chicken. I am scared. I am lonely. I am lost. Or rather, I am lost in the sauce. The orange chicken sauce. Please send help. Please. Send anything, and whether I live or whether I die, whether we win the war or lose the war, you must discover the secrets to making orange chicken. You must make it yourselves. If not, I have died in vain. The war was lost in vain. But if you can make orange chicken, there is hope. There is always hope. I love you. Signed, Connor Davy, the original bad boy of YouTube. If you've been here for a while, you probably know that I'm a bit of a bad boy. And if you don't believe me, let me prove it to you right now. Welcome back to the Bad Boy channel. Okay, so next up is Joe, and Joe says this. Orange chicken didn't taste like orange chicken. And fried rice didn't taste like fried rice. Okay, so I'm not a doctor. In case you haven't figured that out, I am not a medical doctor that makes YouTube videos on the side. But Joe, um, I think you might have clinical depression. One of the signs is that food just doesn't taste like it should anymore, and your review seems to signify that almost one for one. So I would go visit a doctor if I were you, Joe. Next up, we have John. John says this, A bunch of unsupervised kids had to tell one young man to wash his hands after he ran them through his hair and was about to handle food. Same young man handled money, then went back to serving food. Food was almost as bad as the service. Will not return. And here's the question that I have for John and that I have for the workers of this Panda Express. Are you serving the food with your hands? If you run your hand through your hair and then go to get orange chicken, are you running your hand through your hair and then scooping up the orange chicken with your hands? And if not, I just want to ask John, is it clean enough for you if they use a spoon to scoop the orange chicken? Because I imagine what's not happening is he's not going like this and then picking up orange chicken and putting it onto your plate with his bare hands. I imagine he's using a spoon. Now you can protest that that's still not clean, but it's at least cleaner than the visual of the guy running his hand through his hair, picking up orange chicken, throwing it on your plate. Next up, we have laser alien, which is one word, 
laser alien, he says this. After an hour, wait. Can we just stop for a second? After an hour, wait. We got to the front of the line and they stopped taking orders. It took half an hour for someone we could see in the back office to come out and take orders. If you're looking for a one-star experience, this is it. Laser Alien waited one and a half hours total for Panda Express. An hour and a half. An hour in line and 30 minutes at the front of the line for Panda Express. And I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, I would never do that. I am so much better than Laser Alien. But here's the deal. Have you ever been to a concert? Because I would like to put forth a bold assertion. If you've been to a concert, you do this every time you go to a concert. You go to see, let's say, Post Malone. Great. Very versatile musician. You're so excited to go see Post Malone. What do you do? Said Post Malone at 8 p.m. Guess what? He doesn't come on until 11 p.m. You have to sit there at the front of the Panda Express line for an hour and a half watching somebody that you don't care about, that you didn't pay to see, perform for hours before you see Post Malone. You are doing this every time you go to a concert. You should do it for Panda Express if you're going to concerts. That is my rant on concerts. I don't understand why anybody goes to concerts. It doesn't make any sense to me. Finally, Roberto says this. Worst panda ever. They never have anything and always unprepared. And I just think it's funny to think that Roberto walked into this Panda Express and he said, hey, uh, could I get orange chicken and fried rice? And they were like, okay. I didn't know you were going to order food. I am not prepared for this. Can you repeat that slower for me? Nobody trained me for this, okay? Nobody taught me how to do this. I just showed up here. I thought they were just going to send me a paycheck. Tell me again, slower. Uh, if you're still watching this video, I love you more than I love staying hydrated. And I love staying hydrated. Thanks so much for watching. See you next Friday with another video.